गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू हैव सॉल्व्ड अदर सम्स ऑफ एक्सरसाइज 6.1 नाउ टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अदर प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ ट्रायंगल एंड सॉल्व टेक्स्चुअल एक्सरसाइज ओके स्टूडेंट्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट चिल्ड्रन नाउ आई विल एक्सप्लेन the next property that is exterior angle of a triangle clear now what does this property say an exterior angle of a triangle is an angle formed by one side of the triangle and the extension of an adjacent side of the triangle that means here you can see these are the extension marked by different colors clear now over here angle 1 and angle 2 angle 3 4 and 6 these are the six exterior angles clear so every triangle has six exterior angles clear understood children and what does the property says the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the measures of the two non adjacent interior angles means what suppose if i want to find out the measure of this angle 4 suppose if i want to find out the measure of this angle 4 then the this four measurement of angle 4 is equal to the measurement of this two interior opposite angles the angles which i marked by red star these are the two opposite interior angles understood children so an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of measure of interior opposite angles clear understood students now you know the property of exterior angle okay now we know that the sum of opposite two interior angles is equal to the measure of exterior angle now here in exercise 6.2 we have to find the value of the unknown exterior angle x so exterior angle x is over here and opposite interior angles measurement has been given that is 45 degree and 65 degree clear and we have to find out the measure of exterior angle x so x is equal to 45 degree plus 65 degree is equal to x is equal to 110 degree so what is the measurement of angle x correct it is 110 isn't it very simple children is it or not okay so now the next sum is find the value of the unknown interior angle x interior angle x now again children you know that sum of interior opposite angles is equal to exterior angle now here what is the measurement of exterior angle has been given correct it is 75 degree clear and which are the opposite two interior angles one is marked by x and one is 35 degree so x plus 35 degree is equal to 75 degree and so x is equal to 75 minus 35 degree so what will come x is equal to 40 degree clear so what is the measurement of angle x 40 degree understood so simple students our next property is angle sum property of a triangle this property states that the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a triangle is 
180 degree. Now children, here I have drawn one triangle in which measure angle A is equal to 80 degree, measure angle B is equal to 55 degree and measure angle C is equal to 45 degree. Clear children? Understood? Now, what we will do? If we will cut this angles and rearrange them like suppose if I'm, I will cut and rearrange this is angle A what is the measurement of angle A that is 80 degree clear now what is the measurement of angle B that is 55 degree and what is the measurement of angle C that is a 45 degree understood so if we will cut and rearrange them these three angles now constitute one angle and which is a, that is a straight angle can you see this this is a straight angle and the measurement of a straight angle is 180 degree so we can say that the sum of measures of all the three angles of a triangle is 180 degree that means measure angle a plus measure angle b plus measure angle c is equal to 180 degree that means 80 degree plus 55 degree plus 45 degree is equal to 180 degree clear children understood okay students now let us understand this and verify this by one another example students you know that the property of exterior angle clear you know that the ex measurement of exterior angle is equal to the sum of measures of two opposite interior angles clear now children please pay your attention over here here in triangle a b and c clear one two and three let us take this one is one this one is two and this one is three these three are the angles measure angle one is equal to 50 degree measure angle two is equal to 60 degree and measure angle three we will find it out now let us see how it is look at here we will first find out the measure angle four what the measure angle four will be 60 plus 50 the sum of two opposite interior angles so measure angle four is equal to 110 degree understood children so over here we can say that measure angle 1 plus measure angle 2 is equal to measure angle 4 exterior angle property clear this is exterior angle property right and now we know that measure angle 3 and measure angle 4 measure angle 3 and measure angle 4 form a linear pair correct so measure angle 3 plus measure angle 4 is equal to 180 because they are linear pair of angles correct but now we know that measure angle 4 is equal to 180 so measure angle 3 is equal to 180 minus 110 so what will be the measure of angle 3 correct it is 70 degree understood so now here measure angle 1 plus measure angle 2 plus measure angle 3 is equal to 180 see look at here now what is the measure angle 1 plus measure angle 2 plus measure angle 3 is equal to 180 degree what is the measurement of angle 1 it's a 50 degree correct what is the measurement of angle 2 it's a 60 degree and the measure angle 
3 is equal to 70 degree which gives us 180 degree. So all of you understood the angle sum property of a triangle clear. Now students moving to solve the exercise 6.3 okay in sum number 1 we have to find the value of unknown x. Now here in sum number 6 you can see that this one has been given a right angled triangle correct and we have to find the value of x this is x and this is 2x this one has been given okay now we know that by angle sum property we know that the sum of measures of all the three angles of a triangle is 180 degree clear so now x plus 2x plus this is 90 degree so 90 degree is equal to 180 degree understood children clear x plus x gives us 3x is equal to 180 this plus 90 over here it is minus 90 so 3x is equal to 90 degree and x is equal to 90 degree divided by 3 so what is the value of x 30 degree so what is the value of this angle correct 30 degree and this is 2x so what is the value of this angle you can say 13 to 2 gives us 60 so angle measurement of one angle x is 30 degree and measurement of angle marked by 2x is 60 degree understood children clear now same way we will solve the next sum sum number 2 here we have to find the value of unknowns x and y. Understood children? Over here in this figure it is given, this has been given 90 degree. Okay? And we have to find out the value of angles marked by x and this one is y understood clear now children tell me this one is 90 and what will be the measure of this angle this is very simple this one is also 90 degree why correct it is vertically opposite angle correct understood are you getting now it is so simple again we know that Major angle Y plus major angle X plus major angle X is equal to 180 degree. Correct. So here now I can write that 90 degree plus X plus X is equal to 180 degree. Now X plus X 2X is equal to 180 minus 90 degree understood and so 2x is equal to 90 degree and x is equal to 90 degree my divided by 2 gives us x is equal to 45 degree so what is the value of x 45 degree this angle is also of 45 degree and the major angle y is equal to 90 degree as it is a vertically opposite angle understood clear children now i will explain about two special triangles the first one is equilateral triangle students a triangle in which all the three sides are of equal lengths is called an equilateral triangle you all are aware about this okay here in this triangle all these three sides are equal in measure clear and so other thing is the properties of equilateral triangle are all sides have same length sides have same length clear children sides have same length clear 
and measure of each angle each angle is of 60 degree the measurement of each angle is of 60 degree understood these are the two properties of equilateral triangle clear equilateral triangle is having all the three sides are equal in measure and each angle is of 60 degree understood now the next one is that is an isosceles triangle a triangle in which two sides are of equal lengths two sides are of equal lengths is called an isosceles triangle children here see look at here these two sides are of equal length the and the third side is having the different length clear so this type of a triangle is called an isosceles triangle and uh, in, uh, the properties of an isosceles triangle is two sides have same length two sides two sides have same length clear and the other is base angles opposite to the equal sides are equal base angles means these are two basing base angles these are opposite to equal sides are equal so base angles opposite to the base angles opposite to the equal sides equal sides are equal clear children understood look at here one more time i will explain isosceles triangle a triangle in which measures of two sides are equal they have the same length and base angles these two are base angles which are opposite to the sides equal sides are equal in measure understood clear children here we sum up with our session 2 solve rest of the sums of exercise 6.2 and 6.3 and complete the exercise in your classwork clear thank you so much